Hi guys! In this video I'm gonna show you how to make this miniature swivel chair for Barbie dolls and doll houses. This little swivel chair is made mostly of paper and fabric. And as usual, I have templates to help you make your own version. You'll find a download link to the free printable one at the end of this video and the digital version for cutting with a Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine is in my shop. This miniature chair ideally belongs in a set with this miniature desk so that you can give your dolls a proper workspace. But let's get started. First, we're going to make the seat and we'll use cardstock. I personally use cardstock from old food packaging. Cut this part and cover it with glue. Then take a cotton sweater or some fiber fill and lay the cardstock template on top of it. When the glue is dry, cut away any excess cotton. Now choose a fabric to upholster your miniature chair. I personally used fabric from an old dress. Wrap the fabric around the seat's base to find out how much of it you need and cut accordingly. Lay the seat's base on top of the fabric with the cardstock layer facing up. Then use double-sided tape to secure the fabric to the seat. Fix the fabric on one side first and then on the opposite side. And at this point you can cut away some of the fabric on the side you haven't secured so that it won't be too thick when you fold it. Then flip the seat and pull the fabric over one of the rounded corners to make sure that it's tight. Secure it with glue or double-sided tape. And then repeat the same step on the opposite corner. Finally, stretch the remaining fabric over the edge and fix it to the back of the seat. Repeat the same process for the last side of the seat. And this is a lot easier to do if you choose a stretchy fabric. Now we're gonna make the backrest. Cut this part into cardstock. Then fold these bottom tabs and the sides. Cover the surface with glue. Put glue over the almost entire surface with the exception of the lower edge. Then take a piece of cotton or fiber fill. And this time it shouldn't be as chunky as what we used for the seat. Cover the cardstock base with a cotton layer, leaving out the lower edge. When the glue is dry, cut away the excess cotton. Now cut this part into cardstock, cover it with glue and lay it on top of the cotton layer, placing it at the center of the template. Place a strip of double-sided tape right above the bottom tabs and then a couple of strips on either side of the central cardstock part. Take a piece of fabric and fix it to the bottom of the cardstock template. Then stick the fabric to the central cardstock part one side at a time. Cut away the excess fabric, leaving a hem of about a couple of centimeters. Now it's time to attach the backrest to the seat. Put glue on the middle section of the backrest tabs and stick them to the back of the seat. Then glue the sides of the backrest to the seat. Now use double-sided tape to secure the rest of the fabric to the back of the backrest. I suggest you fix a little portion of fabric at a time to avoid the formation of creases. And once again this part is going to be easier if you're using a stretchy fabric. Now it's time to upholster the back and the bottom parts of our miniature chair. Cut this part into cardstock and glue it to a piece of fabric. I used sticker maker but you can also use double-sided tape. I wouldn't suggest you use wet glue for this particular step as it might stain the fabric. Cut away the excess fabric leaving approximately a 1cm hem. Cut this hem into several small tabs following the direction of the curve. Each tab should have a fairly straight line at the base. Now fold all the fabric tabs and glue them to the cardstock template using double sided tape or glue. We can now glue the back to the chair. I suggest you start gluing from one side of the backrest and then glue the back and finally the other side. And this is what our miniature chair should look like at this point. Now cut this part into cardstock and glue it to a piece of fabric. Cut away the excess fabric leaving a 1cm hem 
Then cut the fabric into little tabs around the rounded corners. Put double-sided tape all around the edge of the cardstock template, including the corners. Then fold the hem of the fabric and fix it to the tape. I suggest you fold the longer tabs first and the small corner tabs last. Now we can attach this part to the bottom of our miniature chair. And just a reminder, you can find the download link to the free printable template at the end of this video. And if you want to cut this project with a Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine, I linked my shop in the description box below. And now that the top half of our miniature swivel chair is done, we can start working on the legs. Cut these parts into cardstock and glue them together. And the little holes in the corners are optional, so if you're cutting by hand, you can just skip them. Now cut this part a few times, I cut 4 layers and stack them together. Alternatively, you can cut this part just once into mat board or cardboard, which is a bit thicker. And once these two parts are ready, glue them together. Now we're gonna need a round wooden stick with a 4mm diameter. You can also use a cuticle pusher or a big skewer covered in paper to make it thicker, just like I did in this video. Cut this piece at a 6cm length. Then paint it with black acrylic paint. And when the paint is dry, glue the stick to the cardstock piece we made earlier. And this is what it should look like. Now cut this part into copy paper and color it with a black marker. Then roll it around the top part of the stick, using either white glue or a sticker maker to secure it in place. Now cut this part into copy paper and place a piece of double-sided tape on one of its ends. Then roll the paper against a pen or a round stick to give it a cylindrical shape. Secure one end of the cylinder, making sure that it fits snugly over the base of the chair. Then glue the rest of the paper by rolling it over itself. Now cut this part into cardstock and wet it with a little bit of water to make it more flexible. Roll the cardstock against a round stick or a pen to give it a rounded shape. Then glue the cardstock layer over the paper cylinder. Repeat the same process for this part. Cut it into cardstock, wet it with water, roll it against a pen, and finally, glue it to the base of the cylinder. Put glue along the edge of one of the cylinder's ends and stick it to this little piece of cardstock. When the glue is dry, cut away the excess and sand the edge with a nail file. At this point, you should have something like this. Now it's time to make the base of our miniature swivel chair. Cut this part several times and stack the layers together until you reach a 5mm thickness. And we're going to have to make 5 identical legs. Now, if you want, you can cut these strips into copy paper and glue them to the top, bottom and front side of each leg. This will make the layered surface appear smoother. When all 5 legs are ready, it's time to attach them to the swivel part of our miniature chair. The easiest way to do it is to lay the swivel on a piece of wax paper and then glue each leg. Now let's make wheels for our little chair. To make them, I used toothpicks and these flat wood beads. Glue the beads to the toothpicks, two at a time. If you don't have them, you can simply use a strip of paper rolled onto itself. Then color them with black acrylic paint. And once the paint is dried, cut off the toothpick on both ends and color the remaining stubs with black paint. Now cut this part into cardstock. Wet it with water and roll it against a pencil or a round stick to give it this rounded shape. And you'll need to make 5 of these. Glue each cardstock strip to one of the little wheels. And when all the wheels are ready, simply glue them to the legs. At this point, you can either keep the legs as they are, or you can color them. I decided to color them with metallic acrylic paints to give them a sort of distressed metal look. And we can finally assemble our miniature swivel chair. Combine these two parts, then glue the seat to the base of the chair. Last but not least, 
Let's add a super soft fur pillow to our chair. To mimic the look of fur, I used a dust cloth. Simply fold the cloth in half, lay a paper template right under the fold, secure it in place with a pin, and sew the three open sides, leaving a small aperture on one side. Cut away the excess fabric, then turn the cloth inside out and stitch or glue shut the little opening. And that's it! As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. If you're interested in the SVG and Silhouette Studio files, there's the link to my shop in the description box. And that's all for today's video. Until next time, bye!